Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use NPass Password Manager. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we start using NPass here? Well, the first thing we need to do here is we need to visit their official website, which is going to be npass.io. Now, in their official website, it's going to give you some details or uh, other details that you need to know regarding MPASS here. But how do we install it? Well, at the top section of your screen, you have the pricing here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And you have two plans that you could get for MPASS. I have the personal and family here as well as business. Now, if you're going to choose business here, it's going to give you the following options. So it has Microsoft 365 integration, admin console, and MPASS host hosted hub, and a lot more, which the starter plan is around 17.49 AUD or Australian dollars. So it's up to 10 users. You also have the standard plan here, which is 5.15 AUD, and the enterprise plan here is 6.91 AUD. Now, depending on the plan that you'll be getting, you'll be able to uh, get the specific features that they offer. Now, if you want to use a personal family plan here, we have individual family plan and one time plan here. Now, if you want to get individual plan here, you need to pay around 2.91 AUD a month. The family plan here is 4.37 AUD a month. So you could share this uh, to your family members. So you could say, uh, share this to, uh, you could basically get this for 42 point. 4980 for the first 12 months here, which is something really uh, cool. Now, if you want to buy the whole app itself and get it for free for lifetime, we can use the one-time plan here, which is 144.99 AUD. Now, in this case, if you want to start using it for free, because they actually offer a free trial, you can click on the start for free here with this, let's say, start read the desktop app. Let's go and click on start for free. Now, to redirect us to the download page here, which in this case, we need to choose the appropriate download. In this case, maybe I want to download this for Windows, but if you have Mac OS, choose the download button for now. But for now, let's go and choose Windows. Just click on download, and that should download the installer here. So in this case, let's just wait for it to download, and we will be installing this. Now, once the download is complete, it's going to open up the installer itself. Let's go and click on NPAS setup.exe. Let's go and click on run. And from here, we want to basically agree to the license terms and conditions here. In this case, it is actually recommended that you read through all this one. But for now, let's go ahead and click on agree and click on install. Now, in this case, if it requires further permissions, let's go, and let's go ahead and click on yes. And from here, it's now going to basically start the uh, installation. Now, this might take a few minutes or a few seconds, depending on the speed of your computer. But for now, let's just wait for it to finish installing. And from here, it should now says installation successful complete. Let's go and click on launch here to launch the app itself. So let's just wait for it to launch. Now from here, you should be able to see this UI here. So we have two options. We have personal and business. So since we are using this for personal license, let's go, let's go and choose personal. And from here, we need to enter our email. So in this case, let's go enter our email and hit on the send code for us to enter a confirmation code for our account. Let's go and do that. So your activation code will be sent to your email here. It's going what is what's going to look like. So let's copy our code here and let's go go ahead and go back into and uh, and pass and paste our code and click on confirm. Now that should confirm our account. So let's just wait for it to load up. Now that should activate our and pass. So let's go ahead and click on done. And from here, you'll now have to select where you already have want to keep your data. In this case, you have OneDrive and you have a Google Drive here and a lot more. So for example, maybe I want to keep my data in this PC temporarily. Now in this case, let's go ahead and click on create new vault here. And from here, we want to enter a master password for our vault. This is really important that you remember your vault here. So once you lose access or you forget your vault uh, master password, you won't be able to access your vault here. So let's go ahead and enter our master password. Now on the next page, you need to confirm your master password. Let's go ahead and confirm our master password. And once you've confirmed your password or your master password here, it should uh, give you this UI here. In this case, you have the quick setup here, which in this case, you'll be able to quickly set up uh, your account, which includes the auto run here. So automatically uh, at system startup. So whenever your computer uh, boots up, it's going to auto run itself. So if you want to in install the browser extension, so in this case, it allows you to autofill login, credit cards, identities, and supported browsers. Uh, if you want to do that, you can go ahead and allow that one as well and even check compromised passwords and sample items. So in this case, we can go ahead and allow whatever you want to allow here. And for now, let's go ahead and uh, basically click on done at the top right. Now, how do we use the app itself? So on the left panel, you should be able to see categories and some tags and others that you could access here. 
So at the right side, you should be able to see the lock, even the option to generate passwords if you want to, and even access your settings if you want to uh, change a few things via the app. Like for example, have the open automatically at system startup if you want to allow that, and behaviors and system-wide hotkeys. So there's going to be a lot of uh, things and customizations that you could do here on uh, your MPAS uh, application. But first things first, let's go ahead and add an item. So in this case, you could go ahead and click on the plus button at the top section of your screen. And from here, you could choose what type of item you want to add. So again, there's going to be a lot of, to choose from. Like for example, you have login, credit cards, identity, node, password, finance, and a lot more. So for now, maybe I want to say I want to add a login here and maybe I want to choose a template. So in this case, uh, you could choose whatever website here. If the website does not appear here, you could choose the default option here. But for now, let's just choose Facebook. And we just need to enter all the credentials for our Facebook account. So just to give you an idea, I'm going to enter maybe uh, this an example. So let's go ahead and add this uh, email here. Let's have the password here. So maybe I want to say this is going to be my password. And from here, we also have the phone number. If you want to add your phone number, add one time code, even add security questions and security answers if you have those. Now, I also have the tags here if you want to add this. Like, for example, this is for social. Let's go add a tag for social here. And even if you want to add tags, this is how you do it. But once you've added all the fields, sections, and even adding files in a section here or in your item here, you just click on save at the top right to save your changes. Now, as you can see, it's now appearing on our all item section. Now, if you want to edit this, just click on the pencil icon at the top section and you should be able to edit it. And again, save it by clicking on save. Now, you should be able to copy certain details regarding this item like the email, password, website by clicking on the copy button here. Now, if you want to create, like, for example, a different one, like, for example, a note. So what is a note here? Well, notes is a type of uh, security or item, which in this case, it does not necessarily fit in any of the categories. Like, for example, your Wi-Fi a Wi-Fi password, the combination for your lock or whatnot. So you could basically add them in here. So, for example, this is just per personal. And from here, maybe I want to say one, two, three, four. Let's go and click on save and should now be added in here. Now, in this case, there are going to be the tags in here since we added personal and social here. So whenever you click on the uh, personal tag here, it should uh, actually show the note that we just added. Social would actually contain the recent login that we added. Now, in this case, uh, that's the general idea here on NPASS here. So in this case, if you want to actually access the audit, which in this case, it's going to show if your uh, account or your login are compromised. It's going to show you if your passwords are weak. So in this case, if you are using identical passwords, like for example, you're using your password repeatedly, it's also going to show you that your, your password, go ahead and change that. You're, being, you're using it repeatedly because it's actually recommended that you choose different passwords for different websites. Also have the pass keys here. So in this case, uh, the it any items that you've added pass keys, they will be appearing in here. You even have one-time codes if you added uh, those in your uh, items, attachments, if you added them trashed or archived. Now in this case, uh, if you want to uh, manage a specific item here, you can go ahead and click on more and you'll be able to uh, move them to trash, archive them, duplicate them, or even share them to different people. Now, in this case, uh, you also have the option, the uh, again, going to settings here and doing those. But yeah, so that's about it. So those are the basic things that you need to do for NPASS, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.